Tim Horton would be someone that, depending on how old you are, they don't even know that he played hockey. But that's him, of course, Daryl Sittler. I mean, the, the fan favorites, I guess, you've got the Sittlers and the, the Red Kellys, um, the Dick Duff, Davy Keon. From the Hall of Famers. The beginnings of Matt Sundin, along with King Clancy, another favorite, and Johnny Bauer. To those who only got one game. Like Sean Haggerty here. He didn't get any glamour out of this playing for the Maple Leafs. But now they're on here with everyone. Every player who ever played professional hockey in Toronto, starting way back to the days of the arenas in 1917. The old uniform, which was sort of a robin's egg blue. Is or will be on this 6 by 12 canvas. It's just tons and tons of research. It's a project that artist Gary McLaughlin completed in 2007. At the time, the painting included 765 Leafs who had played between 1927 and 2007. So we've really put something down for the history of this uh, franchise. But now the owner of this painting has commissioned Gary to not only restore it, but to add to it, when it's done, it will now include more than 1,200 portraits. And that will span 100 years of professional hockey in Toronto. You have to go back right to the bare canvas. That means having to painstakingly remove portions of the original painting to rearrange the Centre Hall of Famers. You've got Doug Gilmore. He has to be taken out of there, and he's been moved into this area right here. And be able to make room for hundreds of new faces. We don't believe there's been a franchise that's been in, painted in its entirety. So it's, it's a pretty special canvas. Well, Gary's hope is that the Maple Leafs will take notice and have this painting hung at the ACC to celebrate their 100th anniversary in 2017. In Newstad, Audra Brown, City News. Wake up and get started with Breakfast Television. On the next BT, celebrity chef Bob Bloomer is here to share a great recipe for those picky eaters. Frankie Flowers has everything you need to know about tomatoes. He'll have tips on when to harvest and